This is one of the things I know. We're going to see Ray's late lady on the show at some point. Mm. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, well, we have an episode that, that uh, forces our team to kind of be confronted with um, some of our past uh, lives and people in our life. Um, we have to go back and kind of help them out. And so we do have a little, it's more like a tease, it's still just a tease of, 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 uh, of Ray's past um, and, and Anna. And, and it's, not, it's not what it will be someday in the future when we'll get to really delve into it, I, I trust, but it's a nice uh, throwback just to say that. You know, to, to touch on his experience and that, you know, um, he's still working through a little bit of that that tragic time in his life. Yeah. He gets picked on so much. Like, you know, Professor Stein is always pretending like he doesn't remember him. Yeah. And, you know, he's so resilient. Um, what do you love about the, the resiliency of, of your character? Uh, yeah, you, you, you don't know, see I, people like that who are always, you know, rebounding and, and bouncing back up. I, I haven't thought about it in that way, but that's a, a positive way to, to put it. I do notice definitely that, that you know, Ray will mess up and, and, and uh, doesn't always make the, make the right choice all the time, I guess. Um, and people do kind of make fun of him for being silly and goofy. But I, I think to a large degree that's just part of Ray's nature to not really care too much about what, what people think about him. Um, Doing his best to learn, you know, if there's something positive to gain from changing. But uh, you know, he's happy. He's happy-go-lucky most of the time, and I think that's a unique quality about him. That not, not, not much keeps him down. Talk a little about his relationship with Kendra. They've been left in the past, yeah. uh, and when we see them, they'll be trying to start a life together. Is that mm. fair to say? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, we'll see how much time they've been left for, uh, and that's kind of plays a huge role in, in, in the, how the relationship has has progressed in their time being trapped in 1958. Um, and, and, and plays, uh, I would say, a, a fairly integral role to the rest of the, the season uh, for both the characters in, in many ways. Um, I was at a screening of the Supergirl Flash crossover, oh. and Andrew and Greg were talking about how you um, are fascinated by the Supergirl world, is that right? You've watched the show a little bit? Yes. Talk a yes. little bit about what you like about it, because obviously they try and bring in people who have that super history. Yeah. Well, I think I think what I, what I love and appreciate about Supergirl is, and the way they're, they're using the characters, is, is it, it's getting the side of Superman and the, the franchise that I that I appreciate most the part that I like to see highlighted the goodness um, the, the, the 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 way that it shows that we have the greatness within all of us to to be to be able to attain and to be like a, a superhero supergirl on earth and so I really appreciate those qualities and I'm yeah. happy that they're that they're putting that message out there and kind of you know a little bit in the in the wake of, of, of I think what Superman returns was was kind of doing um, so it, it's a I take it as a nice um, honor 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 Memorial. Ray would be a natural fit for that show too. Uh, I think so. With I think it's a good energy. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, Andrew wrote in Bulletproof Coffee, which I'm a big uh, supporter of and, and ambassador of, uh, and they got it on the show because of my insistent talk about it. It worked great in the show, and I was very appreciative of that. Uh, and that's cool. And, and I think Ray would be uh, could exist fairly well in that show as well. All right. Finally, um, did you get to spend some time with Teddy, your old One Left to Live co-star? I uh, haven't. Did you ever get to? No. no Yet. I was just saying I oh. want to have some. Ha somehow have uh, catch up time. Have him on our show oh, okay. or be on that show, so I can actually say hi and tell him what a great job he's doing. Ted, you're doing a great job. Appreciate it. And long way we've come since uh, One Life to Live, which was a fantastic experience. But uh, as both as bartenders on that show, and now we're both superheroes or supervillains.